Here we have the Golden Grizzlies taking on the University of Michigan Wolverines for a Big Ten matchup for the out-of-conference part of the season for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Last matchup we saw of the Golden Grizzlies was a Horizon League game against Northern Kentucky where they lost nil to three. But in their first Horizon League game, they beat former champion Cleveland State 3-0. So we're seeing a bit of a mixed bag from the Golden Grizzlies. Harj, what can we see from the Golden Grizzlies today? Well, going into that Northern Kentucky game, we were expecting them to come off, come out with a win, considering they went to the Horizon League champions' home and took care of business there. Didn't seem like that was really the case. Northern Kentucky just was relentless on offense, just continued to pressure Oakland's defense and came away with three spectacular second-half goals. One of the keys they're going to have to put into place this game, especially against a team like the University of Michigan, is they're going to need to open up those passing lanes and get some offense going here in this first half because Michigan is known to strike and strike hard and strike fast like Cobra Kai. They're going to have to play up to their competition. They played the number one team in the nation and only lost 4-0. The grit that that takes as a team and as an organization you should be able to beat anybody. As we're getting ready for action here, Giovanni Mocheri alongside Harj Brutar, we are happy that you're here on 88.3 FM WXOU for today's matchup. As the teams are getting ready, getting into position, Oakland University is sporting the black and neon green University of Michigan in their yellow uniforms. Oakland University on our right side, University of Michigan on our left. We're getting ready for what a beautiful day right now, about 65 degrees, a nice cool, nice cool breeze over the Oakland soccer field in Rochester Hills. It's a great day for soccer, and we are happy to bring it to you on WXOU. As the University of Michigan gets ready to set Riley Furk in the center of the Golden Grizzly logo. As we get ready, your next 45 minutes will be men's soccer on WXOU. Michigan with a big kick towards, towards, towards Oakland territory. A header will bring it back to center. Oakland University trying to retaliate, but unhandled the possession. The University of Michigan has the ball back again. Receives a big kick back and forth across the midfield here. Each team trying to get some solid possession as it goes out of bounds on our far side near midfield. Oakland One of the keys that I think is most important going into this game is going to be the connection between Donovan Phillip and Jace Foster. Those guys seem to have a pretty good connection against Northern Kentucky and Cleveland State. And it's going to be crucial to get your offense going. So I think one of the best things they're going to have to kind of focus on, on that they have excelled in this game is that connection on the right mid. And University of Michigan seems to be bringing some pressure up front right away as Finn Jurek gets the ball off to Zach Townsend as he crosses it to our close side. But University of Michigan of the Wolverines... Michigan with it on the far side near midfield. Number 28, Isaiah Goldston with possession of the ball right now. Far side into University of Michigan territory. They take it back into their half of the court. Their half of the field, rather. Passing it back and forth. Number four, Nolan Miller sharing possession with the keeper and his fellow defender. University of Michigan still trying to get past midfield here. Oakland's bringing the pressure. Big kick will bring it across half field. Zach Townsend going for the header to get some control, but it goes past it to the Wolverines. Missed time that one. Michigan on the far left corner. Crossing it over center. Jurek with the catch to gain possession. Yeah, good job by Jurek there. He's one of the most consistent goalkeepers in the Horizon League, and I think Is going to have a hard time with him. This Roca on the close side here, trying to get some off, but it goes back. In. <laughs> Seems like Dalio Herrera. Some he's been able to trying to get some solid possession. Possession going to get some forward progress for the Wolverines. Still hesitating, almost scanning the field. Find some open space here, but on the far side, they get past half, half the field. Phillip tries to get some contact, but can't quite get it. University of Michigan is pushing towards center. They got possession in the box. Uni 
Golden Grizzlies are able to get out of that one. As we got number 10 for the Golden Grizzlies, Owen Smith. He's coming up with speed. He's coming up the middle. He's got a couple Wolverines to defend against or to get around. You know, Golden Grizzlies with possession of it now in the box on the far side. Get some contact. Trying to find some possession here is crowded by Wolverines. Yeah, Mom. and he really wasn't able to do anything. I mean, no passing lanes really opening. That's one of the keys that Oakland's really going to is getting those ground passes uh, going because you'll tire out Michigan's defense quite a bit. And it, se it seems like both the teams are just trying to figure each other out a little bit, see what they're going to bite on, see you know what, what's going to be working for them, as we haven't seen uh, too much. Too much action. We've seen a couple of possessions in the box, but not for very long. Malik Sylvester for the Golden Grizzlies on the on their half. We're bringing it to number seven. Roca. Roca is coming up again with speed, looking for his teammate. Is he going to be there in time? Looking for Donovan Phillip. Phillip in the corner. Crosses it towards midfield. Gets to Owen Smith. Owen Smith unable to get the header as it goes all the way across to the far side. Yeah, Phillip, I think, missed time that one. He was trying to find Owen Smith. Got Luke Benford, and I, I don't think Benford was expecting it, and he mistimed the jump because he was just such a sudden reaction. Michigan throw in. Going to get some ground passes on defense. Try to get it up across. Pass mishandle is given to the Grizzlies, and, that, and Michigan's half of the field. Got some contact, number 29, Luke Benford, up at forward. Who's possession of the ball? University of Michigan's coming with speed here. That's not offside. Malik Sylvester trying to get to the last line of defense. Jerk getting ready there. Michigan crosses it. To no crosses it to number three, Matthew Fisher. Loses possession and gives it to the Grizzlies. But University of Michigan is going to get it right back until the whistle is blown. Some contact is going to stop the play. Yeah, a little bit of contact there on Don Phillip, and the ref brandishes the yellow there. It was a little bit rough there, but so far... You know, it's the beginning of the game. We're on the 39th minute right now, still nil-nil. Fisher's a really aggressive uh, defensive back. He's been playing in Oakland zone quite a bit. You don't really see that a lot from uh, from college soccer teams. They typically have their defined roles, and it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Michigan's coach uses uh, his defensemen. And speaking of coaches, the Golden Grizzlies are seeing the first appearance this season of their 15-year head coach, Eric Pogue back at the head coach position. Hopefully he can provide a little bit more stability. They've had some ups and downs moments in these last few games. And I think having your head coach back is always a sign that they're going to, you know, you're going to bring back some level of consistency um, in practice and during the games. As Jurek gets the ball off after passing it between his, him and his fellow defenders, Jace Foster brings it back to Finn Jurek. Finn Jurek with a big kick. Trying to get some momentum here. Go Not off sides here. Number 29 for the Golden Grizzlies. Luke Benford. Luke Benford looking for some offense there, but it gets taken away by the Wolverines. That was a great spot there by Jurek to find Benford. Will Baker again with the pressure coming up from the left side. Being defended against by Carson Bala. Bala gets it away from him. Gives it back to his teammate. Owen Smith now crossing, about to cross half field here. Passes it to... Has it to Donovan Phillip, but loses possession and gives it back to the Wolverines. I don't think Phillip was expecting that. Fisher was on him like a hook. Miller, Fisher with the ball on University of Michigan defense. Passes it up to number 13, Julio Herrera. University of Michigan kind of waiting, almost hesitating to see, waiting for the teammates to come back and get a play to develop here. We're not seeing a whole lot of urgency, but the ball is kicked towards the box. Malik Sylvester there to kick it away. Sylvester and Bala were one of the were two of the most staunch defenders last year, and it showed uh, on Saturday against Northern Kentucky. They held that Northern Kentucky defense as uh, offense apologies as long as they could before the floodgates just opened. And I mean, when you put that amount of pressure on your defenseman, you can't really expect too many good things to happen. Michigan getting close to the box here. Riley Furk with it on the close side here. Gives it to Matthew Fisher. Fisher crossing to the other side. Crossing to the far side. Almost loses control, but gets it to his teammate. Back at half field. 
Michigan making an advance here. Golden Grizzlies trying to get past half quarter, getting crowded by some of the Wolverines around there. Be a place kick, I guess. <laughs> yeah, stoppage of play, just trying to recompose the players. I must have missed the whistle. Sylvester now with the ball. Gives it to fellow defender Zach Townsend. About half field. Defenders are passing it back and forth, trying to get some opportunity to go forward. Vile Ahola able to get a pass half to get it to Donovan Phillip. Phillip to Roca. Up against the sideline. Michigan's just going to let that one out. Matthew Fisher with the throw in. Not a lot of options here for Oakland defensively. It's been on their half for most of the game here. Owen Smith now in possession. Him and Vile Ahola going back and forth, advancing, getting close to the box there, but a, a kick. I don't know if it was a crossing pass or a shot attempt, but it hit Phillip in the back. And Oakland getting close there, but a great defensive play by the University of Michigan will keep the goal from happening. Seems like this is a Michigan home game right now with the amount of U of M fans here. You're telling me. We got quite a bit of maize and blue in the crowd here. Ball in the box, kicked out, but Malik Sylvester is there at half field. Roca and Phillip going back and forth on it. Gets intercepted by Michigan. Seemed like Owen Smith saw that. I, I don't even know what Owen Smith saw there from uh, Roca's perspective because Roca was blanketed by about two or three Michigan defenders. And Michigan with speed coming across half field. Bryce Belvins with possession. University of Michigan making progress, getting towards the box here. Zach Townsend defending on the far side, and that's going to roll out of bounds. Michigan come, you know, falls to the ground looking for the referee to pull, you know, blow the whistle. Oakland now in on their half of the field. Oh, we got some contact there, and the whistle's going to be blown. Game's already starting to get physical, and we we're already about 10 minutes into it. As we get ready for the kick, Townsend now in possession. 34 minutes so far. Big kick for Oakland. Maybe would have been off sides if it came in possession, but a header from Definitely Oakland. Definitely would have been off sides. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't much close. Rodgers for Michigan in possession on defense. Now number four, Nolan Miller. Nolan Miller with a bandage on his hand. Still playing through it. Luckily, the hands aren't the most important part here in the sport of soccer. And Oakland's pressuring Owen Smith with a little bit of pressure there to make to force a reaction from Michigan. And I think having your head coach back is always a sign that they're gonna, you know, you're gonna bring back some level of consistency um, in practice and during the games. As Jurek gets the ball off after passing it between his, him and his fellow defenders, Jace Foster brings it back to Finn Jurek. Finn Jurek with a big kick. Trying to get some momentum here. Go Not off sides here. Number 29 for the Golden Grizzlies, Luke Benford. Luke Benford looking for some offense there, but it gets taken away by the Wolverines. That was a great spot there by Jurek to find Benford. Will Baker again with the pressure coming up from the left side. Being defended against by Carson Bala. Bala gets it away from him. Gives it back to his teammate. Owen Smith now crossing, about to cross half field here. Passes it to, passes it to Donovan Phillip, but loses possession. Gives it back to the Wolverines. I don't think Phillip was expecting that. Fisher was on him like a hook. Miller, Fisher with the ball on University of Michigan defense. Passes it up to number 13, Julio Herrera. University of Michigan and kind of waiting, almost hesitating to see. They're waiting for the teammates to come back and get a play to develop here. We're not seeing a whole lot of urgency, but the ball is kicked towards the box. Malik Sylvester there to kick it away. Sylvester and Bala were one of the were two of the most staunch defenders last year, and it showed uh, on Saturday against Northern Kentucky. They held that Northern Kentucky defense as, uh, offense apologies as long as they could before the floodgates just opened. And I mean. When you put that amount of pressure on your defenseman, you can't really expect too many good things to happen. 
Michigan getting close to the box here. Riley Furk with it on the close side here. Gives it to Matthew Fisher. Fisher crossing to the other side. Crosses to the far side. Almost loses his control, but gets it to his teammate. Back at half field. Michigan making an advance here. Golden Grizzlies trying to get past half quarter. Getting crowded by some of the... Wolverines around there. Be a place kick, I guess. <laughs> yeah, stoppage of play. Just trying to recompose the players. I must have missed the whistle. Sylvester now with the ball. Gives it to fellow defender Zach Townsend. About half field. Defenders are passing it back and forth, trying to get some opportunity to go forward. Vile Ahola able to get a pass half to get it to Donovan Phillip. Phillip to Roca. Up against the sideline. Michigan's just going to let that one out. Matthew Fisher with the throw in. Not a lot of options here for Oakland defensively. It's been on their half for most of the game here. Owen Smith now in possession. Him and Vile Ojola going back and forth, advancing, getting close to the box there, but a, a kick. I don't know if it was a crossing pass or a shot attempt, but it hit Phillip in the back. And Oakland getting close there, but a Great defensive play by the University of Michigan will keep the goal from happening. From Oakland, if he continues to control that side. Michigan now with patience on offense. Herrera, Herrera almost had it in the box. Lost possession, but still, in, still uh, Michigan so far. They're taking it back, trying to get some breathing room here. Probably looking for a cross, I would, I would think. Michigan's putting the pressure on Oakland's defense, which is exactly what they need to do. They're keeping the ball out of Grizzlies' touches, and uh, pretty soon you're going you're gonna to see the effects of this. Mikey Kenneman lurking around, forcing the big kick now to Fisher. Fisher on the close side, looking for his, looking to advance it into the box. They're in shot distance here. The crowd, the tension is growing here as they get close to the goal, and it will be kicked out of bounds. A little flip up, not a big kick, but a quick flip. To catch the defense off guard. But Oakland was able to defend it and bring it out of bounds. Yeah, great defensive play there. We've now played 15 minutes here at the Oakland soccer field. 29 minutes of the first half so far. Still nil-nil on WXOU 88.3 FM. Getting ready for another corner kick from Michigan. Can't quite see who's taking the kick. But he's wearing a white jersey. Big kick coming across. Way high. A header will not be enough. Oakland able to get it. From center, bringing it up with speed here. Oh, and he's still going and then loses possession. It was Luke Benford with a big effort to bring it all the way up by himself. This lost is the, possession. This is the pace that Oakland missed against Northern Kentucky. They need a guy like Benford to kind of take away Michigan's, you know, midfield defense. Miller getting some pressure from Ketterman, forcing the pass to the keeper. I think that's the only way Ketterman's going to get touches in this game is if he uh, is if he continues to pressure and makes an interception or a tackle. Yeah, he's been everywhere, just lurking, waiting to strike, trying to get his foot, trying to get some contact on the ball. But yeah, if he's going to want contact, if he's going to want possession, he's going to have to steal it. He's going to have to work for it. Herrera against Phillip will end it out of bounds. A little bit of contact, looking to the refs, but refs aren't buying it. Oakland taking the throw in. Roca. The big one past half field. Looking for Ketterman. Ketterman keeps it in Oakland possession. Passes it to Owen Smith. Owen Smith loses it to two Wolverines. He was trying to do too much there. Oakland looking for some soft touches here. Ketterman now up the middle here. Looking for a pass to Phillip and it will be intercepted. Oakland's offense is too static. They don't move to the ball as much as Michigan has this game. You see a lot of Michigan uh, players off ball moving towards the ball trying to get those passing opportunities. It seems like Oakland players, when they don't have the ball, they're waiting for the passing opportunities. They're not trying to create them actively. After Chase, uh, Jace Foster was chasing the ball across the far side of the field in Oakland territory, some contact will make it a free kick. Oakland elects to give it to their defender, Townsend. In between him and Vile Ojola. Crosses it now towards a close side to Sylvester. Sylvester getting some pressure, needs to pass it. Gives it back to the keeper, Jurek. 
Now to the far side with Townsend. Townsend looking to advance the ball, try to get it to his teammates to get some forward progress here. Oakland just keeps going back and forth, waiting for that opportunity, waiting to see what Michigan's going to give them. Both teams are playing that 4-4-2 traditional style of soccer here, so you know that they're trying to more focus on the midfield game than you know pure offensive uh, power. And Townsend with a big kick towards, towards Phillip. Gets in the possession of the of the Wolverines, but Phillip is going to continue the pressure to force the keeper to kick it out of bounds. And not much Goldson could do there, but try to get it out. Roca now with the throw in. About halfway into Michigan territory on the close side here is in Phillips' possession. Elects not to take the shot, but to pass it across the midfield to Luke Benford. Now in a hole is possession. Scrambling in between Grizzlies here. Tries to get a shot off and Wolverines are in the way. That didn't look like a clean shot there. Looked like just while you had the last touch of it, you just got to get some contact on it. Well, it's what Oakland has to do. They have to just continue to put shots on net. Eventually, something will break. Michigan now in possession. Getting some pressure from Oakland. Passing it now to the far side. Will Baker in possession, waiting for, waiting for a reaction out of the Grizzlies. Grizzlies staying conservative with it, not leaving their positions. As Michigan tries to maneuver slowly around it. Big kick. Cross midfield in a possession now of Roca of Oakland. Oakland now taking it up with speed. He's looking for Phillip on his right in front of him. Getting some contact there, but Roca is going to keep possession. Pass it towards the middle. He was looking for Ketterman, but a quick tap from one of the Michigan defenders is going to bring it back to their possession. Again, Ketterman didn't really get after it. He just tried to see what the ball was going to do there. Whistles blown is going to stop play. What is Shaka Daly going to think now that, you know, Michigan... That In the 25th minute of the first half here, haven't seen, we've seen a few opportunities to score, but a lot of them have just been kicking into traffic, have been a couple corner kicks that sailed too far, and both teams just looking to find that spot on offense, trying to find the chink, the, the, the crack in the armor. Well, you're just trying to use the pace of your attackers here. And speaking of pace here, here comes Fisher with some speed, approaching the middle of the box here. Bunch of Grizzlies around him, a shot is off, but deflected. Jace Foster there. Or excuse me, Donovan Phillip doing all he can to get it out of the Wolverine possession. Down in the corner there. Phillip is going to get it up and out of bounds. Trying to get some breathing room here, trying to bring it back a little bit. Because it, it was getting crowded in that corner over there. Owen Smith not happy with that one. Seemed like he wanted the ball there. The ball was just stuffed in Oakland's close corner. Now it's going to be thrown in by Matthew Fisher for the Wolverines. Still nil-nil here, 24 minutes in the first half. You listen to WXOU, 88.3 FM. Giovanni Mosheri alongside Harja Butar for Oakland men's soccer against the University of Michigan. Fisher for Michigan waiting for his teammates to get set up. Elects to give it to, Bel to Belvins, but going to be lost in possession. They're going to have to redo the throw-in as Phillip took it upon himself to launch that one out of bounds. As we now redo the throw in, now Michigan elects to bring it towards center field. Bring it up towards the middle and intercepted by the Grizzlies. Arson Ballow with the interception, now to Townsend on the far side. Ahola trying to find some space. And Sylvester is there. Big, tick, big kick towards Roca. Roca able to get it on the sideline, close sideline at half, uh, half field here. Back to Sylvester. Now to Jurek. Trying to find that opportunity here. They're going back and forth between the keeper and the defender. Sylvester looking for Phillip, but gets intercepted by the Wolverines. It was almost as if Phillip knew that it was going to be intercepted, and he just tried to make a tackle there. And he jumped the pass and got it. Back in Michigan possession. Quinn Rogers taking it to the far side in Oakland territory. Trying to get it towards center there. Couldn't find a good passing lane, so gave it back to midfield for Michigan's defense. Going back and forth between Grizzlies and Wolverines here. 
Fisher with a pass to his teammate. Zach Townsend with a deflection on the shot. Yeah, good job by there, Townsend. Pressure is starting to build here. Michigan starting to get, starting to make themselves comfortable in Michigan's half of the field. Starting to set up shop in there. Oakland's going to have to get it onto, to, is going to have to at least force the keeper to be within the box as he's stepped out far and wide from the net. Oakland's going to have to start having it now towards a close side to Sylvester. Sylvester getting some pressure, needs to pass it. Gives it back to the keeper, Jurek. Now to the far side with Townsend. Townsend looking to advance the ball, try to get it to his teammates to get some forward progress here. Oakland just keeps going back and forth, waiting for that opportunity, waiting to see what Michigan's going to give them. Both teams are playing that 4-4-2 traditional style of soccer here, so you know that they're trying to more focus on the midfield game than you know pure offensive uh, power. Townsend with a big kick towards, towards Phillip. Gets into possession of the of the Wolverines, but Phillip is going to continue the pressure to force the keeper to kick it out of bounds. And not much Goldson could do there, but try to get it out. Roca now with the throw in. About halfway into Michigan territory on the close side here. Is in Phillip's possession. Elects not to take the shot, but to pass it across the midfield to Luke Benford. Now in a hole is possession. Scrambling between Grizzlies here. Tries to get a shot off and Wolverines are in the way. That didn't look like a clean shot there. Looked like just while you, you had the last touch of it, you just got to get some contact on it. Well, it's what Oakland has to do. They have to just continue to put shots on net. Eventually, something will break. Michigan now in possession. Getting some pressure from Oakland. Passing it now to the far side. Will Baker in possession, waiting for waiting for a reaction out of the Grizzlies. Grizzlies staying conservative with it, not leaving their positions. As Michigan tries to maneuver slowly around it. Big kick. Cross midfield in a possession now of Roca of Oakland. Oakland now taking it up with speed. He's looking for Phillip on his right in front of him. Getting some contact there, but Roca is going to keep possession. Pass it towards the middle. He was looking for Kenneman, but a quick tap from one of the Michigan defenders is going to bring it back to their possession. Again, Kenneman didn't really get after it. He just tried to see what the ball was going to do there. Whistles blown is going to stop play. What is Shaka Daly going to think now that, you know, Michigan... That In the 25th minute of the first half here, haven't seen... We've seen... a. I mean, towards the close side, making some progress, gives it back to, back to his defender, Nolan Miller. Some quick touches are going to get them close to the box here on the close side. And Sylvester is there to intercept the shot. Or perhaps what could have been a crossing path, a crossing pass, rather. Kedeman now in the middle of the field. He's going to find his team. I mean, towards the close side. That's and now out of bounds. Goal kick for Michigan. That's a meaningful offensive possession there. That's oh. a good job by Ketterman to see Benford. Or oh, rather, it's an Oakland corner kick. Came off contact from Michigan. I think Goldson got I think Goldson's got a touch there. Owen Smith taking the corner kick for Oakland on the far side of Michigan's half. Saw a lot of goal kicks by Northern Kentucky's Nick Lemon. So I think Oakland's trying to stop that trend here and you know continue their pressure in Michigan's offensive zone. And he elects for a soft touch on the corner. Getting a crossing pass here. It's going to be in the hands yeah. of Goldston. Great try to, you know, find Roca in the zone. From the far side to the close side within the box, a crossing pass, or crossing pass was looking for, looking for Oakland to not make contact. Michigan now trying to get their share in Oakland's half. Some big, oh, some big contact. Fill up with a little bit of a, a little bit of a check. Now nah, that's just pure muscle right there, Joe. That'd be contact with number six, Quinn Rogers, a midfielder from San Jose, California. But I think this is what Donovan Phillips going to try to mold his game around. His physicality, you know, the way he plays and his aggressiveness on playing defense. And we mentioned it before, soccer. While it is a game of finesse. If you could get away with some muscle there, if you can rough them up a little bit, that that could be just as effective as 
all the finesse in the world. And if you do it repeatedly, you start to wear down a team. That's right, and Michigan now crossing the top of the box here, looking for an opportunity, looking for a shot for a shooting lane. Riley Furk now, Matthew Fisher, big crossing pass, and Jerk is going to get underneath it. Neutralizing the threat, 17 minutes now, still nil-nil, Oakland and Michigan. Vileo Hola taking it to halfway before giving it to Luke Benford on the far side. Tries to get a crossing kick deflected off Michigan, so it's going to be an Oakland throw-in. I think one too many touches there by Benford. Probably would have had a good passing lane if he cut it out. Sorry, if he cut in. But anybody who's played soccer knows that there's some times where you're looking for the perfect path. You're looking for the perfect touch, the perfect position of the ball. There's not, you're not going to be able to do that all the time, so sometimes a kick is better than no kick, depending on what you're going for. As Oakland is now approaching center, Getting close there, some contact between Ketterman, one of Michigan's defense. He's going to land it out of bounds. It's going to be a corner kick. It looks like Owen Smith is going to be going for it again. As we saw a great attempt last time. Almost get into Donovan Phillip, but got into the hands of Goldston of Michigan. Owen Smith backs up. Looking like a big one here, but Oakland's going to stay somewhat close. Big kick crossing over. The header's going to keep it going across. And Ahola is trying to get his, trying to get some possession of it, but loses it. Oh, and a big tug of the jersey. <laughs> big tug of the jersey by Jace Foster trying to catch up to Michigan's number seven, Alex Wagner. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was that was a hundred percent. You, 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 could, you can't even pretend to not see that. That one was that, that one was very easy to spot. But if we're talking about <laughs> Ketterman and Benford's pace, you also got to talk about Alice Wagner's pace. That was lightning, lightning fast right there. He was getting up quick and in a hurry. It's now Matthew Fisher going to get the free kick here. Going to bring it backwards. Nolan Miller on defense. Now back to the keeper. They're going to wait for their opportunity. They're going to make Oakland make them make the decision. A whole lot of making. Jace Foster on the far side. He's going to come out of bounds. Oh, he's going to be throwing it in. Came off of Michigan. Townsend crossing it over in the territory in their territory. Malik Sylvester with possession of it. And Michigan gets, some, gets a touch on it. Michigan gets a touch on it and still now in the possession of Finn Jurek. Able to get it to midfield. That could have been disaster for Oakland. If Michigan chose to pressure the, the keeper in the right time. That could have been... We could have seen some action there. But it was properly defended. Now in Michigan's half. I think it's important to note that Oakland has kept pace with Michigan in previous games. So, especially in the last game, they tied nil-nil. So both teams were, weren't able to break through, but they weren't. Uh, neither were the other teams. So I guess it worked out in both teams' favor. And Oakland attempting a crossing pass there is going to be intercepted by Michigan. Going to stay with the Grizzlies. Now at the defenders, Sylvester and Townsend. Now to Ahola at half field. Big kick, looking for Jace Foster. Racing against his defender. Ah, it's going to be out as a goal kick. And it's going to give it to going to give it to Goldston. It was good position there from Jace Foster, making sure they wasn't going to, be, going to be offsides. He had the hustle to beat his defender there, but you know, on defense, all you need is just a couple of touches. But on offense, you need everything to go right for you. Some of the checks and balances of soccer. We got some substitutions here for Michigan. Number 24, Patrick O'Toole, subbed in. We're at 13-26 here at the Oakland soccer field. Still nil-nil. Got Grizzlies and Wolverines here in Rochester. It's going to be a big kick towards Oakland side of it. Townsend's going to get there. Going to force it to Jurek. Jerk back to Townsend on the far side in Oakland territory. 
They're going to go back and forth between the defenders and the keeper. Now with Sylvester on the close side. Back to Jurek at center field. Here's a big kick. Looking for some offense here. Can the Grizzlies catch it? It's going to be headed by Michigan, but stays in the possession of the Grizzlies. Jace Foster on the far side. Looking for Luke Benford. Gets tripped up there. No whistle blown. It's going to now stay with Michigan as they cross half field against Townsend. This is Alex, not a favorable matchup right now. Alex Wagner passes it. And with momentum, it was going towards the goal there, but Oakland was able to race over there and defend it. Looks like uh, Donovan Phillip got a little bit shaken up on that when he's holding his back and he's favoring his left side. Bryce Belvins for Michigan's possession. Goes back and forth in Oakland territory towards about middle of the middle. Now passing it to Nolan Miller on the close side, crossing half field. Finds a newly subbed in O'Toole. Oakland getting some pressure here, trying to force some passes here. Got some intercept, got an interception from Marco Matsai. And Oakland now here with some speed and some open grass. Big kick goes sailing across. That would have been a shocker to Michigan. There was a lot of open grass. Couldn't quite tell who had who had that kick for Oakland. But it looked like it was just between him and the keeper and the defender to the side. He had the right opportunity. The timing was right for that shot. It's just about accuracy. Not only is it hard to get the shot off, but to get it accurate and with the right spin and all that. It's incredibly difficult to score here, which is why everyone gets so hyped when you see a goal in soccer. Well, I just think you're continuing to try to pressure now Michigan getting close into the box of Oakland. Oakland able to kick it away. Yeah, they didn't have numbers, but they had personnel. And Oakland did a great job of defending that because it seemed like, oh, this is a five on four. You know, Michigan's got the advantage here, but Oakland held their own. It's now going to be a free kick for Oakland. Going to elect it, elect to give it to Malik Sylvester. Looking for an open spot here, gives it to Jurek. Still looking for a good spot. Now to Townsend on the far side. They're going to keep going back and forth between them until they find what they like. Sylvester being pressured here. Sylvester gets it stolen away from him. It's going to be out of bounds there. It's going to be Oakland throwing. It could have been a it could have been a big steal from Sylvester, and it would have left it just between just between Oakland's keeper. Well, this is now what Michigan is trying to mirror north of Kentucky, continuing to put pressure on Bala, on Roca, on Sylvester, on Townsend, the defenders. And that's going to wear down Oakland's defense pretty quick if they don't try to stretch the field a little bit more and generate some offense. Townsend with a big kick across the field. Couldn't be handled by Phillip. Looking for a header, but couldn't quite get it on the ground. Now it's going to end up out of bounds. Michigan's half. It's going to be O'Toole with the throw-in. O'Toole patiently waiting. Looking for the right opportunity here. It's going to be a big throw past half field. That's going to go to Wagner. And a whistle is going to be blown after some contact wrestling for the ball after the throw in. Oh, that seemed like a Wagner flop there. Didn't really seem like he did too much. A little bit of theater here at the Oakland soccer field. Quinn Rogers now with a free kick. Going for a soft tap there. Just a simple pass back and forth. Oakland gets a foot on it, disturbing the passing lanes for Michigan. But now it goes towards center. It's now in possession of Cassidy for Michigan. What's well, going to give it back to the Grizzlies? Jace Foster with speed coming up past half field. Oakland's starting to settle down here. Trying to make sure this possession counts. Keep good control of it. We're now at 8.45 here at the Oakland soccer field in the first half. Still nil-nil. Grizzlies and Wolverines. On 88.3 FM WXOU. Well, you got to like the energy that Oakland's put in the last 10 minutes. They've seen some decent offensive chances. They just haven't been able to move the ball too well. They've had a couple opportunities. We've seen the seen a couple of shots, a corner kick, but not, nothing that nothing, you no know, on target. Now Sylvester with the ball at half court, or half field, gives it to Ahola. Ola crossing it now to Townsend on the far side. 
Looking towards midfield. I'm going to give it back to Jurek for a big kick going towards the center. A lot of hang time on that one. Oakland able to get some possession on it. Can they keep it? Mikey Ketterman, two on one. It gets tripped up. Whistle is blown. Yep. A little bit of theatrics there, but I think if you're Oakland, you need to reset the pace of this game. You were controlling it, and then Michigan really clamped down on defense, and now you need to get it back because you're trying to make an offensive push here with about seven and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Marco Matsei gives it to Ohola. Ohola with some tricks here, trying to get it now towards the close side. Trying to direct, direct traffic to Phillip. Phillip now going to take a shot, and it was going to be deflected, I think, off the heel of one of Michigan's defenders. And it's going to be a goal kick for Michigan. Yeah, good, good offensive chances. Again, you're starting to scare Goldson, make him play a little bit more aggressively, try to make him play the ball a little bit more, and that's going to cause you to get opportunities that you didn't have earlier in this game because Michigan's defense is starting to wear down, which is exactly what they were doing earlier. And now you're doing it. It's all fair and love and war. And that, that possession especially looked a lot more organized. It looked like, not necessarily like a plan, but there was some clean touches back and forth and was able to give Phillip a good shot. I 100% agree with you. Passing lanes open and good things happen when passing lanes open. Goldson now with the ball. Big kick towards the center. It'll be a tap by Townsend. Going to stay in possession of Oakland. Townsend now being challenged. Gives it back now to Jurek. On the keeper's side. Looking, looking to catch a Grizzly. Try to give him the ball. Well, notice the let's go, let's go blue chance have quieted down quite a bit here. This is not a one-sided game. Each team has seen their share of action, their share, their time on each other's half of the field. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit, it could be a big whistle. Markham as I still down on that one. Trying to shake it off a little bit. Couldn't quite see what the contact was all about. We got a Grizz joining us. This is a full house, my friends. <laughs> oh, there really was a Grizz behind me. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we love you, Grizz. <laughs> Oka now getting ready for a free kick after the contact with Matsei. Going to cross it to Sylvester at about half field. Back to Townsend on the far side. Townsend advancing it. Big kick. Is it going to be off? They're not going to call it off sides in position. Oakland in possession of it. Wrestling for it, and Michigan's able to take it away from them. Townsend's there to challenge it, coming up from his defensive position. <laughs> Now, was, now assumes his regular defensive position. So Michigan's half. We're at five and a half minutes here in the first half. Still nil-nil between the Grizzlies and the Wolverines. Going back and forth between half field. Each team trying to get, trying to establish some, some grounds on each other's half here. Oakland's pass is intercepted. Looking for Owen Smith there, but gets taken away. And Michigan able to find an open space there. O'Toole on the close side to control the possession for Michigan. The substitution of Micah Sonnenberg has actually been a great tactical move because now, as Michigan is making their substitutions, you have a fresh set of legs on defense to make those adjustments because the elder statesman of your defense is going to see things that the young guys don't. As we're seeing, less now, now less than five minutes in the half. Michigan on the far side approaching the box here. Oakland's packing it with defenders. Sylvester able to head it outwards. Then Sonnenberg able to at least clear it from the box. And now here come the Grizzlies with some speed here. And it's going to be a big kick trying to lead, trying to lead Ketterman. But kicked it too far. It was, gonna able, it was given to Isaiah Goldston. Of I don't the think. Oh! And some contact there is going to shock the crowd. No whistles blown. They continue to play here. Four minutes left to go in the half. You can see the intensity rising with the clock winding down. Michigan now on the far side, outside of the box. Going towards center. Some tricks from Michigan. It's going to be stolen by Ahola. Yeah, Ahola wasn't going to bite on that one. Ahola with some tricks. Just trying to get a big kick out there. Trying to clear it. Michigan returns it with the header. Now they're back on the top of the box. 
Leon almost had a shot at it. Oakland's defense unable or was able to put out the fire here now. Now here come the Grizzlies from the far side, getting towards center, trying to get a shot off, looking for his teammates. Luke Benford is making too many moves. It's It's been a common theme with every touch that he has. He's making too many moves, and I think it, he's, Michigan's not biting on it, so you just got to make more concise moves and try to get more passing lanes. And here comes a shot. Oh, and so close, a shot. Able to squeak through the Michigan defense. Come Just out. Hey, this is Andrew Deacon with your halftime report, reporting live from 88.3 FM WXOU. Currently, the score is still nil nil. It's been a tight, tight half here at Oakland University. Uh, no goals on either side. However, Oakland leads with shots, 8-2. to two. On the other hand, University of Michigan leads in yellow cards, 2-1, to one, with some aggressive play on both sides. And there have been five fouls for each team. Michigan has been giving a pretty tough defense with two saves against those eight shots faced by Oakland University. We're still in for another 45 minutes. Joe and Harge will be back soon when the technical difficulties are resolved. That was the halftime report with Andrew Deacon live in the studio for 88.3 FM WXOU. Welcome back, everybody. It's 88.3 FM, WXOU for Oakland men's soccer as they take on the University of Michigan Wolverines. We're here at the second half. It is nil-nil. I'm Giovanni Mosheri alongside Harsh Brutar bringing you the story of the game on 88.3 FM as we get right going for Oakland University soccer. It's been a close game so far going back and forth. Each team's had their share of pressure, and now this half is all about getting that one goal that could decide the game. Oakland now in Michigan's close corner now. Number 29 is immediately getting a crossing shot, and they're calling for a handball because the Michigan player was on the ground. The ball seemed to hit his hand. Un you know, not intentional, but it's still a hand on ball. More than that, it should have been a penalty. He got tripped in the box. Either way, Oakland's now back on the defensive. You have Vilea Hola going between defenders Townsend and Sylvester. Finn Jurek, keep that keeper. That's how you know. Passing it to Townsend. Oakland's looking for their opportunity, going back and forth. Not going to force anything. Going to let Michigan give them what they do. Sylvester's getting pressure now. Pass up to Matsai. Back to Sylvester on the far side. Oakland territory. Back to Jurek. Back to the close side is Townsend. Townsend getting a little bit open grass. Here comes a big kick to get some Oakland offense, and it's immediately kicked back by Michigan. Michigan looking to keep possession of it. And it looks like they do now on the far side of the box. Oakland's able there to get to kick it away was Roca. Now on the far sideline about midfield is going out of bounds. Going to be a Michigan throw in. Michigan's outpacing Oakland to start this second half right now. It's going to this is the effects that we were talking about earlier of how Oakland's defense was being worn down by Michigan. And now I think Michigan's trying to capitalize on some of those creative chances. And they're bringing the pressure here all the way up to, to the box. Pressure in the defense as they pass the ball up. And it's now a Michigan possession at the top of the box. Townsend able to get a big kick to relieve the pressure. And here comes Owen Smith with some speed going up the middle. They're being caught up to. Looking for a defender. He gets pushed down and a whistle's blown. Yeah, good call over there by the ref. O Owen Smith was outpacing Michigan there. Even with possession of the ball, he had a full head of steam. Michigan was able to catch up to him as they were not carrying a ball with them at full speed. But right in front of the box now, this is a crucial free kick now. In the 42nd minute of the second half here, 
We're still tied nil-nil, but Oakland now with a possession to score with a free kick right in front of the box. Yep. Eric Pogue's set piece is going to be super important here just to kind of keep that offense of momentum going. In front of the large, impact crowd here in Rochester. Backing up for the kick. Looks like Owen Smith's going to be taking it. Here's a kick. Goes up and sails across the goal. Yeah, you kind of knew that was going to happen. It's kind of been the pace of the game thus far. Owen Smith had a good chance to uh, to put some pressure on Golson. It would have been a tight shot if he were to get any closer. It would have been a much very difficult shot. There was a very crowded box that Michigan was able to build a proper fortress around it, you could say. But now they get possession of the ball now. Big kick towards a close side, looking for Michigan. Being defended against Townsend as it goes out of bounds. Let's talk about this crowd for a second. We've kind of talked about in length about how Oakland has been situated between Michigan and Michigan State, and you're seeing the mass amount of uh, Wolverine fans here. I'm even seeing some green hats there. We've got a whole mix of people here at the Oakland soccer field. Oh, and a big slide. A collision between Ferk of Michigan as well as we've got Benford of, of Oakland. Both of them colliding in a slide. And it looks like Ferk is still down. He's still down, looking like it hurts. It was a big slide. Knees were colliding and... You know, it could have been the cleats here and there. I mean, it, it was a collision. This isn't the uh, theatrics here, I wouldn't think. College soccer has been proven to be a very physical game. and You, you feel for the guys. You know, Owen Smith just making sure that the player is okay. His teammates around him. Trainer taking a look. Meanwhile, Oakland is preparing themselves on defense, having a conversation between the defenders and Finn Jurek, the keeper. As we wait for the status of Riley Furk, number 29 midfielder. We're now time stopped at 40 minutes, 50 seconds in the second half here. We're going to take a break here on 88.3 FM WXOU. We'll be right back in just a minute. Five seconds here in the second half, tied at nil-nil. It's the University of Michigan visiting the Oakland Golden Grizzlies in a tightly contested match. Michigan now looking for some offensive possession here. Oakland able to get the few taps needed to get it out of their possession. Zach Townsend, the big turnaround kick, trying to get some breathing room and some contact between Luke Benford of Oakland and number 17, Juan Pablo Ramos. Of Michigan. It's going to give him a free kick. Seemed like the foul was on Michigan, but ref called that on Oakland. It's up to the referee's discretion. If we were down there, we would make our own decision, but... That we would. Yeah, we were just up here at the table next to the bleachers at the Oakland soccer field as we get ready for the free kick. Here it comes, up high. And almost gets the kick. It was able to get it low, pass it to their... Pass it to other Michigan... Offenders with a header. Yep, everything went well for Michigan on that attack. and Just came off the left side of the post. Jerk was in a good position, though. But that might have been the... You know, we've seen Oakland. They had a very close goal. Kind of the same spot, the same goal, just outside of the left post. So, each team has been getting their share of offensive pressure. But nobody has cracked yet. And Oakland now, number three... Number three for Oakland, Micah Sonnenberg was able to cross it over, but through some ricochet of the ball, it went out of bounds. And we got another Michigan player now on the ground. It's getting chippy out here. It sure is. Oh, this would be a huge loss for Michigan. It's Matt Fisher. Matt Fisher, he's been playing with a full head of steam the entire time during the game on every blade of grass on the field here. Looks like he's able to get up. I sure hope everything is okay here. We're at 38 minutes, 59 seconds in the second half here. Clock has stopped, probably for the injury. Got to make sure everybody's okay here. We mentioned earlier in the broadcast that soccer is a sport of finesse. You got to be able to get the nice touches on the ball, but 
it's also a physical sport here. There's collisions. There's a, there's collisions. There's aggression. You got to push each other around a little bit. Sometimes players get a little bit roughed up. As we now see Matthew Fisher being walked off by the trainers. Substitution in for Michigan would be number 26. Well, all of us here at WXO, you hope that Matthew Fisher is all right. He's walking under his own power, so that's a good sign. Number, number 26, Mush, Mushtaba Al-Hassan. <laughs> al <-Haznawi>. Thank you. <laughs> Okinawa in possession of it. Vile Ohola. Looking for some space on offense. Michigan with a lot of aggression there, stealing the ball away. And now with a full head of steam coming down the close sideline. Number 11, Bryce Belvins with an aggressive steal in their own territory. And a, ooh, a big... A big hockey-looking check. Oakland's resorted to being a little bit more physical in the second half. I think they want to play with that physicality that Michigan displayed with finesse in the, in the first half. And now in the far corner now is number 11, Donovan Phillip. It's going to be out of bounds. And it's going to be a corner kick for Oakland. This will be the fourth corner kick of the game for the Grizzlies. And be taken by Owen Smith. Owen Smith's been taking all these corner kicks. He's been putting them in good places now. But what have we talked about, Joe? This is now good offensive chances. This is what Oakland needed, especially in the first couple minutes of the game. They're getting it now in the second half, so I'm not sure there's too much bad things to say here. Shot is up. Coming across the middle now, unable to get proper contact on it. Still above the box now, and Oakley gets the goal with the header off the corner kick. You knew that assist by Donovan Phillip was going to be money, money, money. And we have broken the seal here with an, with an Oakland goal. Golden Grizzlies now up 1-0. The crowd swarmed the, the score pretty quickly. Got to make sure... We got the right name of who got it. Want to make sure we report it. That is Malik Sylvester coming up from the defense, able to get the proper header off of what was many heads on both teams, able to get the final one to get it past the goal to start the scoring for the Golden Grizzlies. Of all the people on this roster, Joe, you would not expect your most stout defender to be the hero. Him and Zach Townsend have been in the you know been in the back on defense going back and forth. I, I saw number 24 in the jersey. I'm like, the defender? Let me make sure. And there it is, Malik Sylvester, assisted by Donovan Phillip. He had some contact on the ball as well. Now Golden Grizz is playing with the lead here as the University of Michigan is going to try and turn up the heat now. Vile Ahola with the tricks now, putting his, putting his opponent on skates. Gives it back to the goal scorer, Malik Sylvester. Gives it back to Finn Jurek. We're at the 37th minute of the second half here. Like Seidenberg lost control of it on the sideline. Going to bring a University of Michigan throw in at the close sideline. About midfield. Here's a big throw against Townsend. Is Wagner. Fighting for it. The ball is going up high in the air. Everyone's trying to get it down on the ground and into the possession. Cleats are flying everywhere here. Headers trying to get it on the ground. Micah Seidenberg now finally gets it. Gives it a big kiss, a big kick across. Looking for Donovan Phillip. Almost gets it past the goalie again. It seemed like he had Golton spinning around on that one. Couldn't tell which way it was going around. Was trying to look away from the, you know, with the defender in the way. Goalkeeper had to try to get a good view of it. That could have been a quick 2-0 for the Golden Grizzlies, but it still remains 1-0. Good offensive chance is starting to mount for Oakland right now. Keep piling it up. One of them's going to go through. Michigan now farther side of the field with a, full, with a full head of steam against many Grizzlies. Get it now to the center at the top of the box. Number seven for Michigan gets it stolen by Ahola. Ahola decides just to kick it out of bounds. Got a pause of possession, let everybody reset. Because Michigan was, was getting there in a hurry. Let's talk about number seven for Michigan for a second. His name is Alex Wagner. He's a forward. He is also, Joe. What is he also? A freshman. 
Also, <laughs> and he's also the leading scorer for the Michigan Wolverines. And that is going to be a good soccer player one day he, in the pros. And he's been getting the touches. They want to give it to him. He's one of the, like you said, their, their top goal scorer. So if anybody's going to be getting it, anybody got to get all those chances, it's going to be Wagner. Well, you've seen certain circumstances where they had like Noah Roca and Malik Sylvester kind of double teaming him. That's why. So it's going to be interesting to see because they don't have Roca on the field right now. Or is he going to try to use Townsend and Sylvester, a little bit bigger guys, taller guys, uh, against a more finesse pace level player like Wagner? And Vilea Hola sticking by on defense as well. Jerk now with a big kick now towards the Michigan half. Gets headed back into possession of Ahola to Sonnenberg. And some collision at the sideline there in the close one. Oakland's looking to make another push on the outside of the box. Tries to get a trick around the defender. Does not get through. Luke Benford has been an absolute pace phenom this game. Yeah, Luke Benford was, yeah, on the close side trying to get into the box. Being defended... Couldn't quite tell who was on defense in the, during that play, but there, there was a few collisions going back and forth. Trying to, they were tripping over each other, trying to get the ball around. And then once Michigan got possession of it, trying to kick it away, that last shove is what made the ref blow the whistle. Still going to be a Michigan free kick. 34 minutes, 15 seconds, 1-0 Golden Grizzlies lead over the Michigan Wolverines. Goldston with the free kick. Big one towards the close sideline. Headed by Oakland. That one's going to go out of bounds. Another Michigan throw in at a half field. Got the handball. Micah Sonnenberg just disrespecting the opponent. Just, oh, he's, he, he was just trying to walk away. He was, he was you could tell he was yeah, getting a little casual. bit in the way, but he's just trying to get out the way, of course. An unbiased broadcast here on WXOU. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan well, gets ready now for another free kick. Number 11, Belvin's going to be taking it. Owen Smith getting right in front of it, as close as the ref is going to allow him to get to it. Here comes a big kick, headed by Oakland. Now in a possession of the Grizzlies, Edmund is going to be taking it from the far side. Give it to Phillip with speed, going across that field. His offense is trying to catch up to him. Phillip now trying to center it, trying to get his good spot now. Looking, looking for Benford there. Now here's a hole with the shot, deflected by Oakland, in the box now. Still, now Ketterman has it, slips. And they're going to blow the play dead. It might be a foul on Oakland. Mikey Ketterman slipping over the ball. Trying to see it. maybe his hand was touched the ball as he was falling down. That would blow the play dead. But you saw the, pre- the that was a pressure cooker in the box in front of Michigan. Michigan now on the offensive. Ramos with the ball, centering it. Towards number three, Matthew Fisher. As they get now to the far corner, tries to cross it, and it sails over the goal as a goal kick for Oakland. Lee Sylvester has been, on both sides of the ball, an absolute craze tonight. I mean, that was a great defensive play by him. I mean, there's not much more to say. I mean, what do you do in soccer? You score, and you stop scores. So, Malik Sylvester's been playing, playing everywhere tonight. Trey Simple. Trey Simple, Joe. At the 32nd minute here in the second half, Oakland leads 1-0 to the, to the Michigan Wolverines. Here comes a corner kick from the Wolverines. A header from Oakland is going to keep it out of possession, but it's going to give it back to... Going to give it back to Michigan. A shot by Rodgers. Not going to go through. Sales over the net. But Michigan crowd not happy with that one. A big O going through the crowd here. It was, it was a good shot. There was good placement, good timing for it. Just sailed over. But Michigan, they're getting that offensive pressure going. They're getting the shots towards goal. And like we mentioned before with the Grizzlies, you get enough shots on, one of them might go through. Well, they're playing with that sense of urgency now. I think playing behind, you have a little bit of that fire in your belly to start playing with a little bit less, you know, conservativity. And that, that's what happens. You start making those more aggressive offensive approaches here. Now you're not playing for... You're not playing to tie... I mean, you're playing to prevent a loss is what, what I'm trying to get across here. It's Micah Steinberg on... Michigan's half in the close corner. Number 26, Al Sanawi. Help me out here, Al- Arj. His name is Moshtaba Al Haznawi. Thank you very much, Arj Butar, color commentator for WXOU. 
Giovanni Mosheri here struggling with names as we're now in the 30 minute, 30th minute of the second half. I guess when you have a name that most people mispronounce, you tend to be <laughs> thankful for other people's names. We got Carson Bologna coming back for the Grizzlies in substitution. Pressure's cook, pressure is building here in front of the box now. Vile Ahola up on the top of the box, backing up a little bit, trying to spread out the field a little bit. Ahola with pressure now. Going to bring it back to Sylvester. Going to try to reset the possession here in Michigan's half. We are now at... We're now under 30 minutes left to go in the game here. Oakland passes it back to Jurek. Got to reset the possession here, spread out the field. Here comes the big kick all the way across. Looking for Steinberg. Steinberg with some contact there trying to, catch, trying to control the ball. Now Michigan trying to get a crack at it. Too many Grizzlies in the way, but Michigan keeps possession of it. Big pass towards the goal now. One touch from, from Roca. It's going to get it in Jurek's possession to save what could have been a Michigan goal to tie the game. Townsend now with the ball on the close side. Big kick. Looking for Benford. Phillip pressuring the keeper there. Had to force a reaction there. Keeper kicked it out of bounds. It's going to be an Oakland throw in by Micah Sonbert. This was blown away a little bit here. Going to see an Oakland substitution now. Look at a number 23, Andrew Direction. Direction, the only freshman for Oakland to score this year. He's going to be a good option here when uh, when Ketterman and Smith eventually leave the program. Some organized passing here is going to get it to Sonnenberg. Sonnenberg with some, with some momentum going up. Was looking for... Direction and some big contact there. It's gonna give it to Oakland now in the center. Looking for a good shot to looking for a good shot. Micah Sonberg was able to roll it on the ground there just outside the left post against Michigan. But again, you're getting to their psyche. Goldson starting to make those saves. He has to start making those saves. It's getting unco- it's getting uncomfortable there. This is I believe this is one of the first times that we've seen Goldson on the ground now. Yep. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. This is one of the first times we've seen the Michigan goalkeeper on the ground, and I, I don't think it's going to stop within the next couple of minutes because Oakland seems to have the momentum in this game right now. As we're looking at another goal, uh, Golden Grizzlies corner kick now at the 27th minute now in the second half. Here's a kick, low to the ground, goes out of bounds, and they're going to redo it as it was out on, on Michigan. It's going to make Oakland's sixth corner of the game. They are now doubling the amount that Michigan has. As Oakland going to give it another shot now. One thing I like that Oakland's doing is they're not going into that defensive shell. A lot of teams, what they do is when they're up, they go into the defensive shell to try to conserve their lead. Oakland's being aggressive. They're trying to maybe extend their lead and making plays to do so. Here's a big kick. Looking for a close header there. Almost hit the top right corner of the goal. Off of the corner kick. Unable to connect. Yeah, just a little bit too much mustard on that one. I think he mistimed the jump a little bit. Couldn't see who had the header on that one. Michigan's now trying to re- recuperate. Oakland going for a big steal there right in front of the box, and they get possession of it. We got Direction going for a shot on goal. Gets into the hands of the keeper, though, but Oakland's been piling on the shots so far that in the second have. half. That they have, Joe. And they're not, they're not turning off the pressure either. They're coming at everybody. A slip on the field is going to cause the ball to go out of bounds. What would have been Michigan's possession is now an Oakland throw-in. Let's just do a head count on the shots right now. Oakland has 15 shots right now to Michigan's four. They're applying the pressure. This is exactly what they needed to do to win this game. Jarrett kicks it all the way across to Michigan's half. They're going to blow the whistle for a Michigan free kick. Not wasting any time. They only got 20, 26 minutes left to go in the game in the game now. Michigan, the far side of Oakland territory, looking to advance towards the box. Looking for a good opportunity here. Too far away to see which player is which. Gives it now to the defender, Will Baker. 
Yeah, ben gives it. Gives it back. We're seeing some, a lot of slips on the field now. The, the nighttime dew seems to be slicking the grass a little bit. Is Michigan making a offensive push now. Now the top of the box. Looking for a goal. And Michigan able to get it. I was watching the referee to see if it was offsides. But Michigan is able to tie up the game with a quick kick. Getting past the wall of Oakland defenders. Gets it to the right side of the goal past Finn Jurek. And now we have a tie game with 25 minutes left. Yeah, it didn't really seem like Oakland was well positioned there. And yeah, Michigan just mounted a great counterattack. And that's the result. Some organized passes back and forth. I was really looking because it almost looked like it was offsides, but I guess they kicked it just in time to keep onsides. And Jurek did not seem to be in the correct position to, you know, he's only so big. The arm's only so long. And Michigan caught him off guard, and now they tied up the game. We're back at what is essentially 0-0, well, just plus one. I, I don't think this should, you know, deter Oakland from their goal right now. I know a lot of times this kind of reduces the pace of the game and, you know, Oakland's been playing so well. They just got to continue to keep feeding the ball uh, to their offensive players. Yeah, and, and I, I wouldn't think that it's because of Oakland's aggressiveness that they were vulnerable on defense. Everybody was there. It was just a great offensive assault from Michigan. And I guess and it looks like the Grizzlies are just going to continue the pressure there. As Micah Sonberg is pa passing it around now, loses possession. Now it's in Michigan's. Yeah, rookie mistake there by Directian. Thought he saw his, uh, his grad student teammate, but... Uh, Nothing materialized of that. Zach Townsend boxing out. Number seven, Wagner. He's taking a page out of his brother's book. <laughs> Trey Townsend, power forward for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies men's basketball team. Watching his brother, Zach Townsend, on defense. That family's got a lot of roots here at Oakland, and it looks like they're continuing the legacy. Back to the game now. 24 and a half minutes left to go in the game. 1-1. Golden Grizzlies and Wolverines. Seem like a lot of fouls on Oakland. Some of the chippiness, some of the contact. It looks like it's coming back. Coming back to bite them a little bit, giving Michigan some extra possessions. Looking for the ball to stay on the ground. It's being headed and kicked up, and now it's in the possession of Ahola in midfield. A couple tricks now. Looking for an open Grizzly. Does they, do they lose control of it? They do. And now in Michigan control... Some contact is going to have a whistle blown. Now it's really in the possession of the, of the Wolverines. What a theatrics there. I feel, I feel like Michigan's kind of resorted to that to kind of get the, uh, the ball back a little bit. Just a little bit here. You could tell, you could really tell the pay, like Michigan even coming out of the second half, regardless of either goal scored, they've been, they've been on it. They've been turning up the heat. They've been getting up to the box with speed. They've been aggressive on stealing some of the passes. That's Big Ten soccer for you. And Oakland at the top of the box now. Shot on goal is going to sail over. That looked really close there. And some frustration. I believe it was Mikey Ketterman who had the shot off. It was frustrated and sailed it over. Well, the skip, I think, has hadn't had a, too many, uh, you know, significant touches here. And you want you kind of want to make the most of your touches, especially if you're Mikey Ketterman, captain, all that good stuff. And Mikey... Kedem has been pressuring almost every kick that he's been in the vicinity of, especially those goal kicks. And we got some contact there. Number seven, Noah Roca, for Oakland, sliding around, made contact with one of the Wolverines. On the ground now. Another Michigan player down. Oh, it's going to flash the yellow. We give a yellow card there, but a quick push-up from the Wolverine is going to get him back on his feet. Michigan now with a free kick. 22 minutes, 51 seconds. We've got a tie game between the Golden Grizzlies and Wolverines. Tensions are rising. A loaded crowd here, not only in the bleachers, but on the top of the parking garage behind the soccer field here. We've got fans with their tailgates up, watching over the edge there. That's a great spot to watch the soccer game. Absolutely. We tried watching a soccer game from uh, the stairwell of the parking garage, and it wasn't the best sight. But... Well, it, it was very, very rainy that day. It was last year, Oakland against Western Michigan. It wasn't the greatest game, I believe. It was... 3-0 Western Michigan, but <laughs> yeah, best seat in the house is on top. seems to be on top of the parking garage. Oakland now in defensive possession now, trying to fight off the assault from the Wolverines. They seem to be building up pressure now in the box. Going in and out, Oakland, everyone on defense. 
Michigan getting some precise touches, trying to get some space now. Here's a crossover, and the header was ducked underneath to let it go by. It's still in Michigan's possession now. Got some shots off. Oakland was able to defend it, but the whistle's blown. That's going to go against Michigan. Uh, the crowd uh, questioning the call a little bit, wondering what happened, as I heard verbatim from one of the audience members. <laughs> but it's going to be a free kick for Oakland. This is where Oakland can kind of show their muster here. A um, little bit later in the in the half, they're trying to get some of this action back on their side. Let's say with the ball, gives it to a hole at center field. Trying to find the right spot here is Matsai. Big kick, and it hits the Michigan defender. The ball almost stops right in place. After that, some contact and a whistle blown. Michigan can't believe it. Ramos not happy with that one. And Ramos throwing his hands up and looking for an explanation. No one's able to give it to him. Rogers now with a free kick at about midfield towards the close sideline here. Michigan looking for some open space now, trying to reset on defense. Kettleman there with the pressure again. Better hurry up or he's going to get you. 20 minute, 21 minutes, 1-1, one, one, tied in the second half. Both teams looking for, looking for that winning goal now. Both teams with a lot of offensive pressure so far. Everyone's playing with some extra juice. Be a big kick out of bounds now. Another Michigan player holding his knee. They're just trying to wind some clock down now, I think. That's kind of their MO at this point. And it seems to be working. Well, regardless of the intention, it's going to be a free kick for Michigan. I have a pause and play here. Clock frozen at 20 minutes, 50 seconds. Getting ready to resume play here. Goldson coming all the way from the net. We're at about the far side, close to the center field here. Any deflection of it could mean, could find the keeper out of position, but it's a big enough kick to where it might not be a problem. All the way to Oakland's box as it's headed by the Oakland defense back to Michigan. Now they're in possession on the close side, nearing the box. Big shot going off. Can Jerk, Finn Jerk able to get a hand on it. Ah, good job there by Jerk to secure it. Couldn't get a solid catch, but off the bounce on the ground, he was able to keep it in his hands. It's a well-placed shot. De definitely going to be recorded as a shot on goal. That'll be s the second for Michigan. And Jerk going to be credited with the save there. It's a big kick looking for Sonnenberg. Not enough mustard on that one. Still able to get it in Oakland's possession. Sonnenberg missing the touch there. He's trying to re recover a rebounded pass. Michigan's taking it now to the far side, trying to spread out the field. Going back and forth. Now it's center field. Big kick towards the near. And we're looking at some offense now. Oh, what a big trip. Darashian tripping up Michigan's offense. That's going to be the man, Moshtaba Al-Haznawi Al there, Joe. Al-Haznawi. Did I get it right? You did. That's going to be a yellow. Al-Haznawi going to be given... Actually, not going to be given the kick. It's just outside the box. It's close. It's on the close half, just out, just a few yards outside of the box, about even with the top. It's not the worst angle to take a shot, but you could probably find someone in the middle in that jumble there that has better. It goes right into the hands of Finn Jurek. Well, he took the farmer. Another well placed kick, still able to get into the hands of the keeper. Golden Grizzlies had a couple of defenders right in front of the kick. Michigan elected to go straight for the net. A big drop kick from Jerick with hang time. Looking to get it up to Ketterman off the header. Unable to do so. Now back in Michigan's possession. Center field, close side. Now taking it to the far. Big crossing kick into Oakland territory. Michigan unable to keep it onto the ground. It's going to roll out of bounds for an Oakland throw in before play is. Pause for some substitutions. Oakland, oh. Oakland sending in Luke Benford. and send out Owen Smith. And number 21, Jace Foster. 
Now they're bringing on their heavy hitters now. That's, that's what it seems like. Now 18 minutes, 45 seconds, and counting here in the first half. Still tied game. Each team hitting closer and closer to getting a goal. Michigan's had a couple of free kicks near the goal. Oakland's had a few chances in the box. That was a great time to take out your, your heavy artillery. And the Oakland substitution's looking to bring the heat. Zach Townsend on the close side in Michigan, ter- or, excuse me, Oakland territory. Pass is intercepted. Back to, back to Michigan with some, some that was fancy footwork to really keep it in Really risky their pass there. Bringing it all the way back to the Michigan keeper. Be back on there. Going to be back in Michigan's defense. Going to go back. Going to go back and forth here. Gets past in, now into Oakland territory. Bryce Belvins with it going across the center, being approached by many Grizzlies. Matze able to intercept it and bring it back towards center. Vila Ahola with another with the other interception. And Ahola goes down against Belvins. Whistle's blown. Or excuse me, that's Ramos. Ramos couldn't believe it again. Hands up. And now here he is with the ball on the close side, looking to get towards the box. Is he looking to pass or score? A quick flip. We'll make it a pass. Still at the top of the box now. Now on the far side. It's one-on-one now. Barely. Great save. Barely out of bounds. Finn Jurek laying flat, making sure the rolling ball had no chance to get across his body. Had that one roll out of bounds. It's going to be a Michigan uh, corner kick. Michigan's been playing dangerously as of late, and they are, uh, ah, this is probably their best chance all game, all half. 17 minutes flat, 1-1. Michigan now with a corner kick, looking to get the lead back, or to get the lead period for the first time during this game. Here's a kick coming across, up high. A header will be out of bounds, just too high to keep it in play. And that's going to give the Grizzlies back the ball. A great chance, a great contact on the head, but just didn't quite aim it correctly. Opens Jace Foster now on the close side, bringing it upfield. Back to Oakland. Goal scorer Malik Sylvester. Far side on defense. Back to Jurek. Back to Sylvester. A little bit of pressure is going to bring it back to Jurek. Yeah, that's Wagner. Wagner doing what Mikey Ketterman is doing for Oakland is just constantly putting that pressure on. Got to force a reaction, and if their luck goes their way, force a mistake. Now it's back all the way to the Michigan keeper. 15-55 in the second half. Tie game, 1-1. Golden Grizzlies, University of Michigan. Ball's now out of bounds. It's a Michigan throw-in. Owen Smith with a big contact, holding his nose. On the ground now, it's going to be a pause in play. Clock's going to stop at 15.37. Owen Smith being looked at by the trainer. It looked like a little bit of a shot to the face, either a shoulder, elbow, after some contact. Can't quite get a read on the severity of it. Looks like the trainer's working on him pretty, pretty good. And make sure everything is okay. Tie game, 1-1, 15-37 left to go in the second half. Golden Grizzlies, Wolverines. He's going to take a bit of a water break. Look at the trainers calling for someone else. Bringing it up, Owen, bringing it up. Owen Smith coming up on his feet, getting like a watery look. Looks like he's fine. He's walking. Looks and like it's going to stay in the game. And shake it off there. Looked like it got bo- uh, bopped in the nose. Looking to see if he gets substituted. Look, he's on the sideline. Trying to get a read of what the situation is now. Michigan ball. I mean, Michigan ball. Owen Smith does return to the game. Michigan's possession, far side, near center field. Bringing it across. Hesitated on the kick. Going to bring it to the Michigan offense all the way on the far right. Getting towards the box now with a head with a head of steam on the side. Kick towards the center now. is going to give great position for a Michigan kick. Goes up and over the net. That split second trying to settle the ball as it was bouncing a little bit. Couldn't get a clean kickoff. 
That kick, the foot going underneath it, it's going to put it high. Wolverines are echoing the Grizzlies' uh, aggression from the beginning of the first half. Got some young fans to, uh, to give us fist bumps here. I would hope if they weren't here at the game, they'd be tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU. Oakland now with a big, with some aggressive pursuit on offense, coming up to the right side of the Michigan box, crosses it over, gets it to the foot of a, Grizz, of a Wolverine, rather. Jace Foster able to recover it. Almost, actually. Lost control of it. Go, goes out of bounds. Michigan going to take some time here to get this throw in. Off. Waiting to see what the, the situation is. Looks like Michigan is just going to take their time there. I think I think they went too far forward on the sideline with the throw in. The ref has got to reposition them. Reposition them. Like, hey, I gave you a lot of leeway, but come on. That's ridiculous. Exactly. So here's a throw in on the close sideline. Oakland bringing a lot of pressure now. Gets it stolen. It's Vile Ahola. Can't get a clean shot off now. Gets it towards the center. Tries to pass it to Ketterman on the inside of the box. But Ahola still with it on the left side. Keeps possession of it. He had about three shots on that. Blocked at point blank by Michigan. And it's going to bring it all the way to the, out of bounds on the far side of the goal. Just trying to wear down that defense. Trying to get better opportunities because they seem to be revitalized. They've you know, made a few substitutions. They're changing tactics a little bit. And that's going to bring another Oakland corner kick. Owen Smith taking this one again. How many corner kicks has Oakland had so far? This would be the seventh. And they're going to pass it short. They're going to go right towards the goal and a, and a chance to score. It's going to go up and over the net. They caught Goldston out of position there, but the ball was just bouncing around, too out of control. Couldn't get the goal scored. And a light touch will bring it up over the top of the net. And we have no score. Still 1-1. One, one. 13 minutes now left in the game. Tensions are rising here in the crowd. Michigan in possession, now at center field. High pressure from the Grizzlies. Crossing midfield. Al-Hasnawi on the right sideline. Hooks the arm of Benford. Gets a kickoff. And he's going to go wide out of bounds. Had a good kick from the close side going across to the right side of the net. Didn't get it on target. But he got a pile on those shots. Got a pile on those shots on goal. Preferably, but either way, you keep the offensive pressure going. We're at 12 and a half here, still tied. Defensive possession by the Grizzlies. Going back and forth, waiting for a golden opportunity. I like the pun there. But they'll take a silver and bronze, too, if they got it. It's not about getting the perfect opportunity. It's about getting the right opportunity. Townsend gives a big kick. That's Benford on the right side. Gets a fancy trick to get it towards the center. In Oakland possession. Now to Owen Smith. Going up towards the center circle with a Grizzly logo. Vila Ojola looking for a spot now. Good pass to Owen Smith. Getting towards the box now. He finds number seven for Oakland all the way across. Is that going to go out of bounds? It will. No Roca on the Grizzlies. And Goldson not happy with that one. He nope, thought nope. there should have been a foul there. I mean, he was going back and forth. Either he thought it would have been out of bounds, you know, for him to kick it. But we got a pause in play here. A few quick whistles from the referee. Got some substitutions. Number 13 for Michigan. Herrera coming back in for number 11, Bryce Belvins. Coming up on the 11th minute here at the Oakland soccer field. We're still tied 1-1. Clock is ticking. Each team with all the aggression in the world trying to get that second goal scored and go for the win. Michigan on defense, bringing it towards the close side. Big kick towards Townsend. Townsend gets a head on it. Slip from one of the one of the Michigan players, and to lose them control. Al Hasnawi follows it out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for him. Ten and a half left in the game. 
Townsend with a big kick to bring it back towards Michigan territory. And now it's going to be a throw-in for the Golden Grizzlies in the Michigan half. A quick throw towards Vila Ojola. Had a little bit of delay on it. Still stays with the Grizzlies. Now it's center field. Being pressured now is Sylvester. Got to bring it back to Jurek. Reset. Now on the close side to Townsend. Looking for a path for a big kick. Got to give it back to the keeper. Michigan, they're bringing, they're getting closer and closer. Going back and forth between Jurek and Townsend. There's a big kick, a lot of hang time. Going cross half field. Going to be Benford. Benford, co the collapse of the defense on him. And a quick flip from Donovan Phillip will go towards Ketterman. Loses control right in front of the goal, and it's going to be out of bounds. Oakland throw in. And they're going to keep going right away. Ahola now coming towards the box. Big kick going across the middle. Gets touched by Wolverine. Matze trying to get control of it. Ahola trying to keep it in bounds. He does. Back to Matze. Gets a kick. Looking for a header. Donovan Phillip had his back turned to the ball. Was turned around. Couldn't get a proper header on it. But it would have been a good opportunity. It's a good pass from Matze. You got to think that Coach Shaka Daly is going to probably try to change up some tactics here. His defense looks a little sluggish. Maybe make some substitutions. Maybe change the way they're oriented on the field. Maybe go a little bit narrower so they don't have to run as far. Or just simply set up shop in Oakland's half. As they look to do right now with some speed. Here comes Michigan. Big pass to number seven against Trey Towns or against Zach Townsend. A flip is going to be one on one between him and Jurek, and it's going to be another goal for Michigan. Ill timing there by Jurek to get that one late goal here. That's going to sting for the Grizzlies. Number seven, Alex Wagner. Again, he was one on one with Zach Townsend. He was able to shake him off, and then it was just between him and Finn Jurek. He was able to get it just out of his reach for another goal for Michigan. Correction, it'll be a called back for and off sides. Still 1-1, eight minutes left to go. That's a huge break there for the Mich for, for, the Mich for <laughs> Oakland. That, that was a fantastic offensive play there. It, probably, it could have been a matter of inches for that off sides. But it's like we were saying, they're getting closer and closer. You can't get much closer than how that goal was. You can you can feel the energy kind of rising in this, in this building right now. Yeah. Alex Wagner proven proving why he's the leading scorer for the Wolverines. Seven and a half left. Golden Grizzlies being pressured now at the center field. He's got to give it back to Sylvester on the far side. Back to Ahola. To Owen Smith on the far side, outside the box. Looking for a spot to get in. Ahola to Matsai on the closer side. Looking for a Grizzly at the top of the box there. It's intercepted by the Wolverines. A header battle will be won by Matze. A big, big foot up in the air. And close to cleating a couple Grizzlies. Be a throw in for Oakland. Going to keep a fast pace going. 6.50 left to go in the game. The center of Michigan's half is Ahola. Ahola looking for Benford Way as he much chips. mustard on that one. Looking for Benford on the, on the right side, the close side. Had way too, yeah, like you said, had way too much on it. Benford even tripped over it, <laughs> trying to catch it. Now it's back to the Michigan keeper. Less than six and a half left to go in the game. Michigan with a really close chance to, to get the winning goal of the game, called back on offsides, but speaks to the pressure cooker that has been this game so far. It's going to be out of bounds now towards the close sides. Grizzly throw in. Going to have Jace Foster take it. Gives it to Marco Matsai. Pass intercepted. It's going to be in Michigan possession now. As they get past halfway. Oakland able to get that one back. Still the close sideline. Getting crowded over here. Owen Smith now with it. Trying to center it. Loses control. Juggling for possession. Still Oakland. Benford finding a path on the right side. Trying to get in. Finds Jace Foster. Back to Benford. Crossing kick. Header in. And that's a goal for... Oh, that looked like it was on the outside, but it got in. Oh, my God. And that is the winning goal 
So far, five and a half left to go. Say don't say that. That's the leading goal right now, Joe. Leading goal. Two to one, five and a half left. Waiting for the official tell of who had it, who's credited with the goal. That's Donovan Phillip with the header off the crossing, uh, off the crossing pass. Oakland now has the lead two to one at home against the Wolverines. And a celebration all around. And you got to be elated, especially after the performance you had on Saturday. This is a great way to boost the spirit. This is a great way to bring back Coach Pogue to the roster. His first game back for the season is looking like a good one. Michigan's going to have to start it back in the center. Golden Grizzlies are going to have to hold down the floor for another five and a half minutes. Well, this is now where you employ guys like, you know, Malik Sylvester and Noah Roca and, of course, Zach Townsend. Hold down the fort, guys. You're five, about five and a half-ish minutes away. And Golden Grizzlies are loading up the defense. But Owen Smith going up with some speed, looking for Ketterman. Ketterman looking to steal the ball back from Michigan. Michigan's going to keep possession of it defensively. But we're seeing a lot of Grizzlies. They're, hold, they're getting that high-density defense. Just trying to hold down the fort now. you got five minutes left. Ball kicked over. Look, going towards Townsend and Wagner. Oakland with possession, getting towards half, halfway here. Benford with some aggression, gets past, gets it by himself. He's going up to the left side, chooses to sprint. He's going across. Who's he going to cross it to? Can he get the kickoff, actually? It's going to go out of bounds on Michigan. It's going to be an Oakland corner kick. Great touch there by Benford. He, he had the foresight to see that the Michigan player was going to keep running with the ball. And, and, uh, yeah, once he saw that Michigan had that last touch, he's like, hey, you can take that. Hey, you take it, buddy. It's like, you try and chase that. That thing was a foot away from the line. 100%. And Oakland getting ready now, leading 2-1 with, le with little over four minutes left to go. What a They're now eighth corner kick of the game. What a dramatic change of events. A Michigan goal called back by an offside, and then Oakland takes that momentum and swings it their way and gets a beautiful goal to Bring the lead to 2-1 at home against the Michigan Wolverines. Throwing now close on the close side on Michigan's half. Oakland tries to center it. Intercepted by a Michigan defender. Comes up now far side about, half, about halfway. Michigan looking for their spot now. Looking for Bryce Belvin. Intercepted by Jace Foster. Owen Smith now trying to gain control of it. Gives it to Ahola at center field. After some pressure, he's going to give it back to... And he'll give it back to Phillips. A give and go. It's going to go out of bounds. A Golden Grizzlies chance starts to erupt from the far side now. we got the student section. Getting into it. Getting into it. A lot of athletes supporting athletes here. We saw track and field softball. We saw women's soccer. Men's basketball, we're seeing everybody here tonight. And with less than three minutes left to go, Oakland, wins, Oakland leads 2-1. to one. Wolverines now with possession in Oakland's half. Getting some good passes now, advancing. Loses the ball to Jace, Jace Foster now in possession of it. To Owen Smith on the close side. Big kick out of bounds on Michigan's half. Just trying to stretch the field now. Stretch the field, burn some clock. Michigan's got a hustle now. Two and a half minutes left. Halfway. They get it to Rodgers. Rodgers and his teammate slipped over the wet grass. And we got Donovan looking for another one. He's taking it all by himself. He's carrying Wolverines with him before getting pushed to the ground. Slips down. No whistle blown. They continue playing. Two minutes left to go. Michigan trying to resettle now, trying to get a plan going, get everybody set on offense. Surveying the landscape at halfway. Still surveying. Oakland not committing too much to the pressure. They want to keep everyone in defensive position. Owen Smith sliding to kick the ball out of bounds, blocking a pass by Matthew Fisher. 
Gives it to Will Baker. Crosses it at midfield. Now on the far side. Now a big wind-up kick. High up. Oakland wins the header, but in Michigan possession now. At the top of the box now, a lot of Wolverines over here. Michigan looking to get a shot off to Jace Foster, who is there on defense, able to kick it out of bounds. Not you know, on the sideline, not behind the goal. So it is a throw-in for Michigan as they throw it in quickly. We, we got one minute left to go with the Oakland soccer field here. Pressure's turning up. Everybody's on Oakland's half. Michigan looking for the winning score. Can they get it off a header? In the possession of Jurek. Kicking a hand on it. Reaches over on the ground. Gets on top of it just in time. Heads up play there by Jurek. That might have saved the Oakland's game. Jurek was crawling on the ground there. He jumped one way. Couldn't get a hand on it. Then he saw it still out there in the open. Everyone on defense was behind him. And he did everything he can to hop over and get his hands on the ball. we now got 30 seconds left to go in the game. Oakland leading 2-1. 25 seconds. Big kick. And some collision with Finn Jurek. He gets a knock on the head as he's swarming to the ball with high speed. Now on the ground. He's still on the ground. And the student section is just absolutely going crazy right now. There's hardly enough room in the stands. They're up on the grass. Yeah, Finn, Packed house here. We got Eminem playing from one of the speakers on the top of the garage. And we're taking a look at Jurek here. He was coming at the ball with very high speed because he, you know, with only now 16.8 seconds left to go in the game, his job was to just get on the ball, waste a few seconds. But on the way there, a Michigan player got a little clip on him. High speed collision there. Teammates and the referee are making sure that Jurek is okay. Trainer's there with him now. Trainer taking care of him. Jurek missed all of last year. Left Michael Sly Jr. to to be the keeper for last year. Came in wanting to make an impact on this team. Got defensive player of the week. And has made his presence known in this game. He's been very physical. He's been very aggressive on the ball. He was like that. It was that way against Northern Kentucky as well. But, you know, I think he's kind of refined his game from Saturday. And he's slowly starting to find now kind of getting back into the groove of things after his injury. It looks like he's up and it looks, looks like he's getting his bearings again. He's going to take the he's going to take the free kick. 16.8 seconds left to go. Oakland leads 2-1 against Michigan. Jerk probably looking for a big kick now. <laughs> and Kevin Beer is saying that's enough uh, that's enough M&M M&M. for now. It, it's Still not, Still turn not off turning yet. off. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's one of the fans up there. As we've got 10 seconds left to go, Kevin's just going to have to let the music play. As the ball rolls all the way down, and they're going to let the clock run out. 2-1, and the whistle is blown. Oakland wins against the University of Michigan, 2-1. to one. In a game that has been exciting on both sides, each team putting on all the aggression they can on offense on both sides. This was a tight game, but Oakland was able to get the two goals necessary to win it. You look at this team and you think there is no better way to bring back your head coach than to beat a quad one team like Michigan. This is their first Big Ten win of the year. They lost Northwestern earlier. They lost Ohio State in the exhibitions. To come out with a win against Michigan is a huge momentum shift. And it's going to bode well for them going to the Horizon League because now they know they can face higher-level competition at any stage. It's been a fantastic game. All the fans here, not only the Oakland fans, but the Michigan fans as well, the miscellaneous fans that have been around. We've had a couple soccer teams hosted at this event as well. Everybody rushing the field, especially the, the fellow athletes at Oakland, rushing the field, giving their team their proper congratulations. And it's been a fun night here at the Oakland soccer field. And it's going to be 2-1. We're going to close it out here for the broadcast. Giovanni Mosheri alongside Harjit Buttar on 88.3 FM WXOU. We're going to throw it to the studio for your post game. Thank everybody for listening, and go Golden Grizzlies. Hey, you're listening to Andrew Deacon with the Golden Grizzlies post game show here on 88.3 FM WXOU. 
Oakland wins this one against the Michigan Wolverines. 2-1 to one was the final score. That marks Oakland's second win of the year and their first Big Ten of win of the year. What a great show by the team to get a, a win in their head coach's first game back. They'll look to hold this momentum in their game, next game against the Jaguars. Meanwhile, Michigan will look to turn things around against Rutgers. WXOU's next broadcast will be this Thursday when the women's soccer team takes on Northern Kentucky. Hopefully they can carry the momentum from Sunday's tie against the Mastodons into Thursday's game against a tough, tough Norseman side. Thank you for listening to Golden Grizzlies Men's Soccer on 88.3 FM WXOU. See you next time.